So here I am in Shimba Hills, uh, walking about, and just down there behind me, if you can see it, that's elephant tongue. That means at any point I could suddenly come across an elephant. Hi everyone, today I am heading for the Shisanzi Falls in the Mwilaganji Sanctuary um, in Shimba Hills. I've just arrived at the gates of Shimba Hills. Um, this is the entrance. And here onwards, uh, there's possibility of seeing wildlife. You won't see any lions or um, leopards or anything like that because it is predominantly wildebeest, elephant, deer. They won't have the lions because they eat them all. <laughs> so there's no fear of being eaten by lions here. Now, although this gate used to be one of the main entrances to Shimba Hills, unfortunately over time, the road has become so ruined that it is actually impassable. And they've had to close the road off, so you cannot get through to Shimba Hills this way anymore. Um, and this is now predominantly known as the Mwalaganji Camp. Um, and also Shisanzi Falls. So it's basically a camp where you can, you know, come and see wild animals still, but you just can't get through to Shimba Hills far this way because the road has been so damaged that um, vehicles can no longer pass on it. So it is now everything by foot. So here I am in Shimba Hills, uh, walking about, and just down there behind me, if you can see it, that's elephant tongue. That means at any point in time, I could suddenly come across an elephant or an antelope. Just to prove my point. Look at that. That's elephant, elephant dung. Yeah. Um, not the freshest of elephant dung, so that's a little bit, uh, takes a little bit of worry off but it's elephant dung. So yeah, anywhere around here, there could be elephants, could be antelope, could be buffalo. Well worth it, it's cost me 800 shillings to get in, which is about five, six quid. Bargain if you ask me, to be in this like total wilderness. Um, I, think it's, I think it's gonna rain, but hey, any rain in Africa is good because it's a dry country. I've got a guide, but they're gonna, she's gonna leave me, and I'm gonna be on my own because I didn't pay enough. <laughs> Story of my life. But there you go, on your own in the bush. Amazing. I wish I brought a tent with me. This is total wilderness. I love it. This is Africa. I'm in deep, deep bush going walkabout. It's true walkabout. <laughs> this is true African walkabout. And as I say, uh, I could come across any animals at any point, um, including snakes. And got to be careful of them because they do pack a punch. So this, this is the African bush and there is wildlife all around me at this moment. The thing with wildlife, they spot you 20 times before you spot them. And nine times out of 10, They'll go their own way. But if they've got babies, 
can be a whole different ball game. <laughs> you become protective then and defensive. I had a very worrying experience. I thought I'd run out of petrol on the bike. But then realised I had it turned off. So the petrol gauge went down to zero. Funny what happens when you panic, isn't it? So this is proper snake territory. I've got to be careful here. It's all right going down. I dread to think what it's going to be like coming up. Give me a rope. So yeah, this is the wild African bush. Amazing. Shimba Hills in the distance there. And you've got to be a little bit careful here. One slip. And uh, you're going arse over tit. Not for the faint hearted I say. And I can hear something in the distance, rattling in the bushes. I can actually hear the waterfall. Oh my God. I knew I should have brought my trainers with me. This is not the ideal territory for flip-flops. But, hey, it is what it is. I'm not complaining. You make your bed and you lie in it. And I chose to come, come on a walking safari. And that's what I'm doing. The things I do for you people, see? So don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Give me a like, thumbs up. Really appreciate it and helps my channel. And helps me bring you more of this useful content that might help you decide where you'd like to go next. Uh, this is getting a bit horrendous now. Somewhere around here is a waterfall. So yeah, it is a bit hectic going down here. You could easily go arse over tit on these rocks. And I can hear wild animals where there's water. That is inevitable that there will be wild animals. And there is a waterfall. Look at that. Wow. So this is the Chisanzi waterfall. Chisanzi waterfall inside the tap of Malaganzi. Inside the tap of Malaganzi. Uh, Chisanzi waterfall inside the tap of Malaganzi sanctuary. Okay. Sanctuary. My God.
So from here it's, uh, you head down to Shatanzi Falls which I've just done and it's no trek for the light-hearted I will tell you that. It's quite a way down and definitely quite a way up as well. But it's a lovely little area and as I say you can bring your tents here, you can camp overnight and that night there is more likelihood of seeing animals and that's why camping is definitely a good idea as I say you don't have to have security security is 3,000 shillings which is about 21 pound um, they recommend you have security security have guns and in the unlikely event of any danger they will come to your rescue but uh, yeah, there's a monkey over there. First monkey, fantastic. So yeah, here we are. We're in absolutely in the wild wilderness. There's no lions here, or leopards, or big cats, because um, if they had those here, they'd they'd eat all the uh, antelope and the buffalo, and there wouldn't be nothing left. Because although it is a big area, it's not big enough to sustain the cat family with their eating habits. <laughs> 